So let's start with some basics of imperfect competition. This should be just a review for all of you. Let's start with the monopoly. Monopoly that has a particular marginal cost curve, MC, horizontal, means your marginal costs are constant. And we have this linear demand, which is an industry level demand because you're a monopoly, so you're the only one producing there. And then here we have the marginal revenue curve. Marginal revenue is how much your revenues increase when you produce an additional unit of us. Okay, here, you know, we choose the margins, so we start at zero quantity. So people on Zoom, I'm sure how to make you follow here, but so we start at the original axis. We produce an additional unit of output. Our marginal revenues are here, much larger than the marginal costs. So we produce that because our revenues increase more than our costs increase. Additional unit of output, marginal revenue is still larger than the marginal cost, so we still produce that because our revenues increase by more than our costs. So we're going to keep doing that until the marginal revenue curve, MR, crosses the marginal cost curve, MC. At that point, to produce an additional unit of output, you know, the two things cancel each other. If you go to the right of that, your marginal costs are higher than the marginal revenue, so you make a loss, so you don't do that. So the equilibrium is where you produce a QM, and you go back up to the demand curve, point A, and that's the price that you choose, PM. Okay. Clear? Makes sense? We all know this, but you know, we need to do it. In two weeks, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. But a duopoly. Okay. So, in other words, two firms only selling the product. So here we have the industry demand. We have a particular price uh, P1, right? And at price P1, the demand is at point A. Okay. Uh, what, what, what is the demand that each firm is getting at that price? You know, at $100, uh, we sell uh, 5 million beers. How many beers that each firm sells? Well, I forget the number, half of that, 50 million. So the total industry demand is at point A. The firm level industry, the firm level demand is half of that at point B. Okay. Now this red curve is the demand that each firm faces when each firm is charging the same price. So if there's just me and you in the market, we charge the same price, we split the market. Make sense? Sense everyone? What happens if I reduce the price by a bunch? If we're selling exactly the same product, then if I reduce the price to P2, I get all of the demand at point C. Okay? Make sense? This is beautiful, you know, this is the Bertrand competition, right? But suppose now that we're not selling exactly the same good. Suppose we're selling two varieties of the same differentiated good. So like your Casper and Tubor. If I reduce the price of Tubor beers by a bunch, I'm not gonna get all of the industry demand because there's gonna be a bunch of computer consumers that really like Casper anyway. So if the Two firms produce differentiated goods and they reduce the price from P1 to P2. I don't go to point C. I don't get all of the industry demand. I get a little less than that. Okay? Again, some point here in green. Okay? And so this is basically telling us that the demand curve that each firm faces is flatter than the industry level demand, okay? 